Hey, what's going on everybody? Sonic Wendy here, and welcome back to another video. We're here, I am back again, continuing my Let's Play series on Sonic Generations for PC. And like always, I'm playing the Sonic X Shadow version of this game. But, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it today. Um, so, I forgot where I'm at right now. I think, uh, Speed Highway and all that, so the second area. But let's just go ahead and start right here. Oh, and we're Classic Sonic, I didn't even know that. Alright, but here we are with Speed Highway from Sonic Adventure, so, yeah, we'll, oh, I only have Splash Hill Zone, that's terrible, that's like a curse, that's like a, it's, I, I did something bad to deserve that, it's not normal, but here is Speed Highway Act 1, um, so big FYI, it's been a very long time, well, actually it hasn't, I just don't care. I don't remember the classic stages at all, I don't remember their layouts, I don't even care about them, I hate them, okay? I don't think they're fun, I actually really heavily dislike Classic Sonic in general. Even the classic games I don't like, man, that's how much of a Classic Sonic hater I am. What was that? <laughs> what was that level design right there? Alright, let's get on that street light though, okay? Yeah, I just don't like Classic in this game very much. Uh, he's just not very fun in my opinion, I don't know. This is one of the better stages, though, um, and I forgot I had a drop dash, but yeah, this is one of the better classic stages, at least, and this stage does look pretty good, I'm not even gonna lie, it does look like it, they remastered this quite a bit. They should have shown, like, the stages that would actually look good if they got remastered instead of Green Hill Zone, like, because <laughs> this, this does look pretty good, okay, I thought that, I thought that was a bottomless pit right there. I don't know why, why we have the unleashed enemies over here. This is a Sonic Adventure 1 stage. But, uh, whatever. You do you, Sega. Yeah, so, the classic stages I'm not going to be the best at for this series. I don't like them very much. I hate classic Sonic. Like, a lot. I just don't like them in this game. Or in any game, really. I think that it's, like, my favorite 2D Sonic game. Uh, I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. So, question of the day. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite 2D Sonic game? Because mine might actually be like Sonic CD or something. Uh, it's either Sonic CD or Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I know that's a very bland pick, but those are really good games. So, Or maybe... Well, I would say Sonic Advance 2, but that game it has like the worst bosses out of any Sonic game I've ever played in my life. So, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> That game is good, but it's just like, it has a bunch of very small issues that make it way worse. I would love to see like a remastered Advanced Trilogy one day, that'd be so cool. I don't know why Sega won't do that. It's like they hate money or something. It's not even hard, they have the rights to release those games, they're their games. It's not like Dimps has the legal rights to Sonic Advanced. <laughs> they just developed the games. Yeah. What was the last game developed by Dimps for Sonic? Because I actually really like that uh, development team. They were really good. Oh, we got an S rank. Nice. Okay. Starting the video off pretty good. And now you're about to witness me uh, constantly restart the next stage because I'm a perfectionist. And if I don't get every single shortcut in the stage, I'm going to lose my mind. So, uh, yeah, be excited for that. Here's Speed Highway Act 2. I know how to use it. Okay. <laughs> Also, I do apologize if I can't talk very well this morning. Uh, it's it's early. It's always early when I record videos now. I just don't have time during the day, so. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Dang. Okay, this actually does look way better than the original version. I'm not even gonna lie. They did definitely remaster this stage. Maybe just this one stage, though, but they remastered it, that's for sure. Alright, we get the light speed dash from Sonic Adventure. It's a move that I think is pretty bad in most games that it's in. <laughs> not a bad move, but in the games that it's in, it's not great. It's pretty bad in Sonic Unleashed, and it's pretty bad here as well. Because it's very unresponsive sometimes in this game. And in Unleashed, also. I can't remember what it is. I think there's like a, a Dragon Road act in Sonic Unleashed that's not like the main act one. But it's one of the daytime acts, and it is horrible. Because you have to do the uh, light speed dash to get through a certain area. And it just doesn't even work. Like, it's just broken completely. But here we go. 
Sonic running down this building like in Sonic Adventure. Looking pretty clean. This this stage does look a lot better. I don't think they have HD textures for this version, which kind of sucks. That's kind of the whole point of a remaster. And I missed a red star ring. But, um... Alright. Uh, I'm trying so hard to not just restart the stage right there, because I don't know how I messed that up. But, yeah. Okay, how am I messing up all these drifts? There we go. Yeah, I got a little shortcut right there. And hit the rocket. Please don't get hit. Okay. Whoa, that was an insane lag spike. What was that? That's the first lag spike that I've encountered so far. But yeah, so far I've heard that this game actually runs a little bit worse than the original does on PC. What was that? That messed up my shortcut. Are you kidding? What was that? <laughs> This game has no reason to be lagging. It's an Xbox 360 game. It's not my computer either. That's This is entirely the port's fault. That's not even me, dude. That was wild. Okay. God. Gotta drink me some water after that one. There we go. That is Speed Highway, though. And now, we're moving on to, uh, to City Escape. But here is Cream the Rabbit. You did great, kiddo! That new cream voice is terrible! Oh my god! I have not heard that at all yet! That is awful! Dang! That is not cream, bro! Who is that? Um, okay. Um, where are we? I told Mama I'd be right back when I left. Okay. <laughs> that is not Creed the Rabbit. Do not disrespect my favorite Sonic character like that again, okay? God, that is not her at all. Um, but here we go with uh, City Escape Act 1. Oh, dang, I got that crazy skip right there. Yeah, classic spin dash is his only good move. I like it because it's, it's completely busted. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. It's just crazy. It's not at all what any classic games are like, but whatever. Who cares? Oh, wait. Oh, wait! The drop dash is kind of peak! Hold on. Okay, never mind. Not right there. But the drop dash was actually low key working. It was actually functioning and helping me in a level for once. That's crazy. Okay, let's do a spin dash right here. Yeah, get out of here. Who do you think you are, Mr. Truck Man? Alright. Dude, I love this remix. I don't care what any of y'all say, alright? I know everyone clowns on this remix and says it's trash. It's not, dude. This remix is actually so beyond fire. What was that? What is happening? <laughs> okay. I'm going way too fast for Sonic's old good right now. Like, right there. Dude, I love Classic Spin Dash. This is actually probably the best Classic stage in the game. I'm only saying that because I'm not doing terrible so far. The second that I do terrible in this- OH MY GOD! What was that? Bro! <laughs> god! I do not remember that at all! I think I usually beat the stage too quick to even see the truck do its stuff. I had no idea bro just completely leaps in the air. What in the world? Okay, we got a skateboard right here. This is the only time this is even in the game, I think. Uh, but it's kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. Sonic with Bart Simpson skateboard. <laughs> he, he really is have. He does have the Bart skateboard. It's funny though. There's the Mighty and Ray poster, and the Knack the Weasel poster. Yeah, his name is Knack the Weasel, by the way. If you say anything like Fang the Sniper in front of me, I'm gonna like disown you. Okay? I'm gonna make you unsubscribe from my channel because I'm not. I don't tolerate that. His name is Knack. Okay? What kind of name is Fang the Sniper? That sounds like an 8 year old made that up. That's like someone's. That's like an 8 year old Sonic OC. Alright, we climbing the Twin Towers right now. This is the last remaining tower. It's about to get knocked down from the bottom. I shouldn't have said that. That's not funny, guys. Don't, don't joke about that. But, um... That was a very tragic event in American history, okay? It's not funny. 
There we go, that is the end of Act 1. That's actually a pretty fun stage, I'm not even gonna lie. I usually hate all the classic stages, but that one was actually fun. And now we're on to Act 2, which is also pretty good. I don't know, City Escape Act 2 might be one of my favorite modern Sonic stages in the game. I do like- I like almost every modern Sonic stage besides, like, Chemical Plant, so... Yeah, I don't know. I even like Modern Crisis City. But I do not like Classic Crisis City, that is an awful stage. It's one of the worst in the whole game, actually. Alright, but here we are with City Escape Act 2, and we got my boy Sonic on the snowboard in the middle of San Diego. What's his problem here? I don't know. Or San Francisco, not San Diego. Either way, it's still the worst state in America, so who cares. Sonic is just absolutely destroying the streets of San Fran right now. Okay. Does it get it? Go, oh, Sonic Boost! Okay. So yeah, this stage um, is actually really, really cool because you get to use like the little board right here. I don't know what this is. Is it like a snowboard that Sonic is just using on land for some reason? <laughs> Because in the original game, he rips off a piece of the helicopter he's on, and then he skates on that, which is the coolest thing of all time. In this game, he does not do that. He just has a random snowboard in the middle of, like, San Francisco, California, for some unknown reason. But, um, yeah, here we go. Let's get these gun robots right here. Get the shortcut, because I'm the best player in the whole world. Watch me mess this up right here. That's the best that I've done right there in my whole life, okay? <laughs> it wasn't the best. That was actually pretty slow compared to what I usually do right there. But, I still got it without getting hit, or like not running into a wall or something. Alright, let's get these guys. Nice. I almost ran off the side right there, because I was not paying attention to my buttons. What? What just happened right there? Okay. Let's go ahead and run right here. There was a Mighty and um, a Mighty and Ray poster with Knack the Weasel and Bark the Polar Bear and Bean the Dynamite back there. So yeah, genuinely, what is a dynamite? Why is Bean's name Bean the Dynamite? What is that? <laughs> that's not a creature. That's a that's a explosive. That's not a creature. That's not a living thing. So why is he called that? I don't know. But yeah, I do actually really like the Sonic the Fighters characters a lot. And I do like Mighty and Ray, they're okay I guess, but, um, I don't know, the Sonic the Fighters characters are always just cooler to me for some reason. I always did like Bark the Polar Bear, cause he's just, I like him, he's like a cool version of Knuckles, honestly. I hope I'm not the only person that sees this, but I always thought that like, you know, like Knack and Bark and Bean, I always thought that they were kinda like a, like a shadow version of Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails, cause they have like, you know, Bark's the strong one, Bean's the one with all the technology, and like Fang is just the the arrogant one who's like the leader and stuff so it's kinda like Sonic Knuckles and Tails if you think about it but um, that is the end of the act right there we got an S rank of course because why wouldn't I am the best player in the whole world there's only been one act that I haven't gotten an S rank on so far and that is um what was it I think it was Sky Sanctuary Act 2 because I died at one point and that's well that's one of my favorite modern stages too so I don't know why there we go, we got an achievement right there, because this is where I stopped playing the game when I played it for that first time. Rouge the Bat, let's go! Boobs the Bat. Thanks. Except for they're completely nerfed in this version for some reason. <laughs> yes she is, Sonic. You keep you keep that attitude up right now. Might get you something in the future. Um, but yeah, there's Rouge the Bat. Completely nerfed, by the way. Uh... So I, don't, I really don't have a problem with the nerfing, you know, the censorship of her uh, chest area. I don't really care about that. That's fine. Who cares? Not me, because that's, that's low-key weird. If you really care that bad about something like that, that is kind of weird. I thought you'd lie to you. But, um, like, the thing I care about is her back, because they censored her back for no reason. So her back is, like, covered up. She's not showing any skin back there. And the only reason why I care is because it just looks terrible. It looks, like, bad. And makes the design worse because, like, she has exposed wings. How are you gonna expose her wings through a slip in her, like, the back of her, like, shirt? It looks so off. Like, it looks really bad. <laughs> and, like, not at all any, like, this is not how clothes work, okay? The whole reason her back was exposed was so that you could see her wings. It makes no sense. It's just a bad design choice. But, uh, enough of me ranting about a character no one even cares about. 
Well, I mean, people definitely care about her, just not in the right ways. But, you know. <laughs> Rouge the Bad is kinda... Look, I don't even blame people, alright? It's not, it's not their fault, because in Sonic Adventure 2, Rouge the Bad does have like a hyper-realistic camel toe texture. That's not a lie, by the way. That's in the game. She really has a texture for that, and it's crazy. It's, I don't know why they put that in the game. The game was rated E for everyone, buddy. You can't do that. But it was they did. They did it anyway. But um, yeah, this is Seaside Hill Act 1. I've been talking about Rouge the Bat so long that I haven't been even able to introduce this stage. I actually don't like this stage at all. I think it's pretty bad. I hate Seaside Hill because I hate Sonic Heroes. I don't know. I hate the Seaside Hill theme too. Because you guys know, I grew up in the 2010s. You're like... Pretty much the 2010s. I mean, I was a, I was a sentient kid in the 2010s. I mean, I was not born in the 2010s, but whatever. But um, you know, so I was there for when this game came out and when Colors and all that came out, and I always loved these games and stuff. But I really, really hated Sonic's like reliance on Seaside Hill. It was so weird, cause every like Sonic mobile game and stuff, all the promotional Sonic art, all like the promotional renders and stuff. Sonic was always at Seaside Hill from Heroes for no reason. This is the stupidest zone of all time, and I got so sick of seeing it because of all that art and stuff. It got so bad, they literally chose Seaside Hill as a racetrack for the Sonic series on um, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. Like, why Seaside Hill? You didn't pick Green Hill, you picked the intro stage from Sonic Heroes instead of Green Hill Zone. And the one other stage we got was the Egg ha Hangar. From, that's not even from a game, I don't think. I think it's from Sonic Adventure 2, but it's the worst stage, because so that's the one that you use Tails in. But yeah, it's just weird. Also, we found a Chow in that stage, I guess. That's like a Devil Chow. Okay. The Black Doom Chow, maybe? But there we go, that's Seaside Hill Act 1. And let's go ahead and let's play Act 2, right here. I know how to do a wall jump. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go, okay. Yeah, I actually do like this stage, but I tend to mess up a lot in it for no reason. So if I get mad and start screaming like an autistic kid, that's why. It's because I messed up. Like right there where I didn't get that perfect jump. I just got a slightly perfect jump. It made me mad, alright? It made me want to hit somebody. That's not, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to front. I'm being so honest right now. I'm the honest. Mo I'm the most honest Sonic Let's Player, okay? That's my whole like shtick. That's my whole little... My character is that I'm super honest. Like, uh, George Washington. Why'd he cut down that cherry tree? I don't know, but he didn't lie about it, at least. I mean, he damaged his father's crops for the winter, and they starved that year, but it's fine. He didn't lie about it, so. I mean, his parents disowned him, but who cares? He didn't lie. If he didn't cut down that cherry tree, then he wouldn't be the first president of the United States of America, okay? So, <laughs> if it weren't for him chopping down that tree, then we wouldn't even live in this country right now. Or I wouldn't. I don't know where y'all live. Probably somewhere lame, but America's the best country, by the way. Um, I'm just kidding, by the way. I don't care. I don't know what the best country is. There probably isn't a best country. We're all pretty equally bad, honestly. But, um... Yeah, here we go. I'm actually doing pretty good, like, for this. I never do good on this stage. Let's get the car right here. The car shortcut. I thought this was so cool the first time I played this game. I used to be so bad at the timing, though. So I used to just, like, wait at the little part right there. And wait to get the car. It was really weird. Or not weird, but it was obnoxious. And also, I didn't know for like half my life that you can boost right here. I just always naturally assumed that you couldn't for some reason. But you can, and it makes the whole section a lot faster. Yeah, here we go. Thanks, Sonic. I hope you got insurance for that. But uh, let's get through here. And this section used to trip me up so hard. <laughs> I, my like eight-year-old brain could never get through that part, but look at me now. I'm a pretty much a grown adult, still playing the same Sonic game from when I was a kid. But who cares? Cause it, it doesn't matter, dude. I'm just cool like that. Get these shortcuts right here. Oh my god. Okay, I remembered it. Give me that ring. <laughs> Take the zip line. Dude, this area is so cool. This is actually one of the coolest little like pieces of cinematography in the whole game, honestly. Even though this is not my favorite stage by far, it's still a really cool one to look at. They did put way too much effort into it. There we go, we got an S rank again. We got all S ranks this video. 
I'm gonna be so mad. I gotta like go back and replay Sanctuary. I mean Sky Sanctuary Act Two. All right, my dog is barking in the background, but um, here we are in our cutscene. Okay, so we're pretty sure we've figured things out, and it's pretty dire. Ah! Keeps jumping back and forth through time, consuming the dimensional energy, and all that's left behind is this lifeless white void. The Sonics are the one constant here. Their speed is restoring space time. Then I guess we have to run like there's no tomorrow, or there won't be a tomorrow. We're facing a dangerous foe, Sonic. Better be on your guard. Sure thing. Hmm. All right, there we go. We got a little cutscene with Time Eater and um, Espio. I was not paying attention to the cutscene, so I didn't see if anything was changed. I kind of—I don't remember seeing that. It kind of looked new, but also I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched all the cutscenes in this game. But there we go, Espio. I actually really like that voice actor. He did a great job with that like little uh, piece of dialogue right there. Be wary, Sonic. I sense great darkness in that enemy. That's my uh, SBO. I hope you guys like it. It's probably terrible. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, next episode we're going to be doing a few challenge acts, y'all. A few, okay? Not all of them at all. I'm not even going to attempt to do that. But um, yeah, anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.